All right, hey, welcome back everybody. We're over here at hive number four. After a long, long time, like probably four to six weeks of them being queenless and struggling along, it looks like they finally got queen right last week. So that brings me as much joy as saying this week, it'll just be a routine inspection. So let's pop the top, take a peek into the supers just to see how they're looking. Not really sure what's going on with the camera right now. It's giving me some problems, so we'll see how long this lasts. Not a whole bunch of bees in the top super. Maybe because they're all hanging out down here. Okay, they're doing a nice job of starting to cap some honey. Cap some nectar, cure it into honey. All right, let's move this out of the way, get into the brew chamber. Not a whole lot of activity on the, the entrance of this colony, so I'm kind of curious to see what we find in the, the brew chamber this time. See if I can slide the camera a little closer. There we go. All right, last, last colony to inspect for the week. So again, for this time of year, really looking for the overall health of the colony. That's nice to see when you pull out the first frame and they have brood. Always checking for the queen or evidence of the queen in, well, by finding eggs. A lot of pupated larvae on this side. I think I see some eggs already, which is fantastic. So unlike the previous hives where they favor the left side of the box, I think, I think this colony favors the right side, yeah, we have eggs, favors the right side of the box because once the sun peaks the middle of the day, the right side, where I'm at now, frame number one, they start to get the most sun in the afternoon. So it's the opposite effect that the rest of the colonies have because they're on, well, they're behind the camera. Yeah, there's eggs that are out here. So yeah, they're queen right. All right, so at this point, really just checking for swarm cells. Probably not gonna find any on that frame. It's a newer frame. Yeah, just checking for swarm cells. And then I'll put them back together. If I can find the queen, that'd be fantastic, but not that important because I can see plenty of eggs. As long as I don't find any queen cells, I can make the assumption they're not trying to swarm or have swarmed. Some queen cups, but they're dry, so nothing necessarily to worry about. So this would be an excellent frame for the queen to lay eggs in. However, it is pretty dark and I can't tell, so let me get my flashlight here and let's take a look. Even with a flashlight, sometimes it's hard to tell. I don't think there's any on that side. No, none on that side. So what I'm gonna do with this frame, because
because I think frame number two or three was a newer frame and they're doing some weird comb. This, they're doing this on that side and nothing on that side. I'm gonna slide one, two, three, four, five. I think this was from five, yeah. I'm gonna slide this frame over into the number two. Yeah, actually a number two position since the queen seems to favor the right side of the box. Just a big experiment, really. Same thing with this. Yeah, so any frame that has nice drawn wax, like this does, I'm gonna slide to, let's see, we'll put this in the number three position. There we go. And see if that prompts the queen to start drawing out or you know just laying more eggs really since these frames have a nice drawn wax and a lot of open cells to the queen though but plenty of plenty of really nice eggs on that first very first frame there's food on that side that's the outside of of frame 10 yeah, it seems like they're queen right. I mean, she's doing her thing. No evidence of her though. I haven't been able to find her in the last few inspections since determining they are queen right. Let's see if she's on this frame. This frame seems to have the most bees since it's on the, the right side, which is catching all the afternoon sun. Maybe I'll get lucky enough and find her. Or maybe not. I'm not going to disturb them that much. There's plenty of evidence that they do have a queen. So uh, I'm just going to call it at that. Put the supers back on. And that's it for hive number four. I'll tell you what, reducing the colonies to a single deep and converting the deep into a honey super seems like a fantastic idea until you have to lift it. This thing has plenty of room to store more honey and it is already heavy. Space them real quick as things moved around. Oh, yeah. Moved around a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be easy. It's fine. Alright, let's put the top back on, I'll 
I'll try not to move it around. So and that's a look at hive number four. I think. I think they recently became queen right within the last week or two, so they're definitely in the uh, build-up stage, which makes sense why you didn't really see too many, you don't really have too many field bees, because the field bees that you see out and about on flowers, they're typically halfway through their lifespan, they're about three weeks old, so from spring to fall, they only survive or they only live for six weeks, and they spend the first half of their life, the first three weeks, in the hive doing chores such as a uh, nurse bee guard bee stuff like that so that kind of makes sense i got something in my eye it kind of makes sense why i don't see too much activity on the front porch because they did go through a queenless period and then they became queen right so whenever there's a break in brood you'll we'll tend to notice a, a lot less activity so they're in the build-up stage like i said they have a queen didn't really spend too much time trying to find her because i found enough frames of eggs and uh, pupated larva and capped brood, which is what you want to see. So over the next, I'd say two weeks, so by mid-May, this colony should be completely, um, have rebounded and back to full for foraging force to where they should be able to, to make some honey for me this year. All right, hey, thanks for watching Cole's Farm. If it seems like I'm a little tired, I've been out here for a little bit. Uh, I'm doing separate videos on all the, uh, the hive inspections, so if you tune in, you'll see the previous hive inspections to include the swarm I brought over from my buddy's place last week. Uh, yeah, check them out. Subscribe to the channel. If you hit the bell, you'll receive notifications of future videos. And that's pretty much it for this week. So check out, uh, well, tune in next week and, and check out the videos. If you like anything, feel free to share it with your friends. You don't have to ask if I publish it for the world to see and you want to share it, by all means. All right, hey, Coles Farm, Jacksonville, North Carolina quick look at the uh, entrance like usual not as much chaos on this one because I was only in there for about maybe 10 minutes but if you look down the line that gray box that's the swarm I brought over from my buddy's house be sure to check out that video I have number three there they're doing their thing uh, if you check out that video you'll see some pretty interesting stuff you'll see me cage the queen uh, screw up again with the plastic queen cage she managed to get out mainly because I helped her but I found two frames that had four swarm cells on them so because I found the queen basically I was able to move those frames with the swarm cells into hive hopefully hive number five and the reason I say hopefully is because once they're queen right I can call them a hive or a colony so right now it looks like they're queenless my buddy just knocked a bunch of bees off a, a fence post over on his property thinking it was a, well I mean it was a swarm, but I guess he just didn't manage to get the queen. No big deal. Ton of bees in here. They're using the sugar water and building a lot of new wax on bare foundation that I, that he had in there and I moved a few extra ones in there. Check out that video, a few interesting things. Uh, never found super frames in a in a deep before so that was a little bit of a surprise so yeah number three they're doing their thing they're queen right number two and number one also they're doing just fine it's been a while since i was in these hives maybe over 30 minutes or probably an hour ago so they're they've calmed down and they're back to normal and then number one's definitely back to normal and then you can see the blackberries they are finally starting to I don't know what the term is for that, but they're finally starting to turn into blackberries from the flowers. So that's always interesting to see. I give that about another month and I should be picking some. But yeah, spoiler alert, here's some of the frames that I pulled out of the, uh, the swarm that I moved from my buddy's house. That was a little bit of a surprise. Alright, enough of me yapping. I'm tired. It's hot. Weather's in the high 80s. Humidity's not bad, but when you're outside for over an hour, maybe even two hours in no shade, tend to get a little tired. So that's it for me this week. Be sure to tune in next week for next week's inspections. If you like the channel, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications whenever I make a new video. So that's it for this week. Coles Farm, Jacksonville, North Carolina. 
just a hobbyist beekeeper with now five hives in his backyard and harvest enough honey for myself to last the year and any excess excess that we get end up selling it which that'll be around july or so all right that's it for now i'm going back inside to chill out cool down sip some sweet tea and make these videos publish them this week so everybody can see them Alrighty, until next time.